Hi everybody and welcome to Yoga Girl Adventures and the Yoga Girl Kitchen. So this Yoga Girl Kitchen episode is a little bit more adventurous than usual as we are at beautiful Samujana Villas in Koh Samui, Thailand. And I'm going to show you my favorite Thai recipe. We're going to be making a green papaya salad, which is really healthy, number one, super healthy, very good for you, all clean, uh, very wholesome ingredients, but also very tangy, a little bit spicy. It's just an interesting salad and complements uh, bigger dishes really well. So for the recipe, we're going to start the base, of course, as you can tell by the name, is the green papaya. Now, depending on where you live in the world, you might not have a green papaya lying around your kitchen. What you want to make sure is that you don't use an overripe papaya or actually a ripe papaya at all. So it's not supposed to be orange like we're used to in the West, but actually green. Uh, and it's a little bit firmer and it just complements the salad a little bit better. Together with that, so that will be our base. We're going to use just a big uh, chunk of carrot. We have some string beans and then for the dressing. So this is uh, almost the most important part. A ton of ingredients that will make this just super delicious. Tomato, you can choose any kind. Cocktail tomatoes, plum tomatoes, or just a mix of what you have at home. Some chili. Um, you decide how spicy you like it. We're in Thailand. We're going to keep it pretty spicy for this episode. Some peanuts. Soy sauce, or if you prefer fish sauce, you can be used as well. I'm a vegetarian, so I'm going to stick with the soy sauce. Garlic, fresh lime, and a sweetener. Now here in Thailand, we have this really amazing coconut sugar, which is very flavorful and great for the salad, just to bring the sweetness out of the papaya a little bit. Uh, at home, if you have a hard time finding coconut sugar, any sweetener would do. So you can do uh, maple syrup, agave syrup, regular sugar, cane sugar, whatever you have uh, around the house. We're just gonna use a little bit of that for the dressing. The first step of making our spicy green papaya salad is we're gonna make our dressing. To make it, you're gonna need a mortar. <laughs> Am I pronouncing that right, a mortar? Um, I have this gorgeous, huge clay pot mortar thing that I got to borrow from the kitchen here. Uh, but you can use just a regular small one that you have at the house. So starting off right here, we're going to use uh, one clove of garlic. If you like things very garlicky, you can use maybe one and a half, maybe two. I'm going to stick with one. Just pop that right in there. And then from there, we're moving on to our chili. Now the chili is going to differ depending on where you are in the world. I'm going to start off with just a little bit, so a half of these little spicy guys. And then using my mortar, I'm gonna just squish that together really well. So you wanna really get all the garlic out, make sure you mix everything in there with the seeds of the chili. Just kind of dig in there properly all the way. Oh, I can feel the, the spicy is emanating from the mortar. <laughs> Good. Okay, and then when I have that done, I'm gonna move on to my peanuts. I'm gonna use about two, three spoons of peanut, depends on how much you like. I mean, I kind of like it a lot, so let's go for three. And then start mixing all of that in. It smells really good already. <laughs> and you can really get in there. This is kind of almost like a workout. This is post yoga <laughs> mashing of peanuts and garlic and chili. Okay, good. Good, and then from there, let's move on towards our tomatoes. So if you have cocktail tomatoes like I have right here, it's enough to just chop them in half. If you're working with bigger tomatoes, you might wanna um, kind of slice them together a little bit more, so. We're gonna make this into a big paste and then use the lime and the soy sauce to create um, the entire dressing. How many? Is it enough? Okay, good. Cut from that. Good. And then coming from here, we're gonna use our soy sauce. Let's see, a spoon of soy sauce is gonna be enough. And you know, you're gonna test the dressing before you add it to your vegetables. If you like more of anything in particular, you can do that. Um, a spoon of the sweetener of choice. So we have our coconut sugar here, which is gonna be really delicious. And then to finish off for the dressing, the juice of one entire lime. So it is quite a tangy dressing which I love. And this one. Good. And then let's mix all of this together. So once you have the juice of the lime, the juice of the tomatoes together with the peanuts just mixing together, 
It just smells absolutely incredible. And careful with your eyes. You don't want this to smush up and hit you in the eye. That's going to be painful. <laughs> Good, okay. And then to make sure that this is actually the type of dressing that you really love, give it a little taste. If you want it spicier, you add a little bit more chili. If you want it more garlicky, add some garlic. Mmm. It's so delicious. Actually, I'm gonna use just a little bit more, a little bit more soy sauce. So you choose just how much of this you want. It's really basic. And then give that another little twirl. And then the dressing is ready to go. Do you want to see? Uh, can I show you how beautiful this dressing is just now? So this beautiful clay pot, I, I almost want to take it home. It's so gorgeous. So it almost looks like peanut butter, like a peanut butter dressing right now. Everything is mixed really well with the garlic and with the tomato. Good. And then moving on from here, we're going to chop our vegetables. So when it comes to the vegetables for the salad, if the only tool you have in your kitchen is a knife, you can definitely chop them just very, very finely on the same size. We're going to grate them. We have this really clever tool right here that allows us to grate both the papaya and the carrot um, at the same time. So just getting rid of the peel a little bit right here and then put that aside. Good. And then you start grating. So if you have more of a traditional grater at your house, that's great. Go ahead. Does it matter which end I use? No. <laughs> and then same for the papaya. Just peel it really quickly and start grating. So you're going to want to use a whole lot. Depends, of course, on how many people you are cooking for. And whenever I'm in the kitchen, I don't use measurements very well. So go by feel. And as you're tasting the dressing as you go, you can totally decide how much you want of each. So you can... Make a whole lot and keep it in the fridge for a week if you want, or just a little bit so it's enough for your lunch or for your dinner. Good? Okay. So now that we have our carrot and our green papaya magically grated, we're going to mix this together. And as I said, so if you don't have green papaya at home, use a big cucumber, use a very green mango, or you can use a little bit of each. So this could be a green mango, green papaya, cucumber, carrot salad if you want. So just go ahead and mix that up. Now that you have your carrot and your papaya nice and blended, we're going to come back to our mortar and come to our string beans. So for these long guys right here, you can actually just use your hands and you can just kind of pop them into the dressing. So to make these soak up the dressing, we're just going to mush them around here a little bit. And you decide how much you love. I actually love these kinds of beans, so let's use a whole lot. A little more. Good. And just mush that a little bit. Not too much, you just want to break them up a little bit so that they can soak up the yumminess of this delicious dressing that we have. Good. And then it's time to take our papaya mix. Add about a handful of the green papaya with the carrot. Put that aside. And then with your spoon, just kind of mush that around a little bit. So you really want the dressing to soak up the entire yumminess of the papaya, of the carrot, of the cucumber, mango, whatever you're using. So really make it soak everything up in there. You don't want to go light on the dressing for this salad. Less is not more for this one, but add a little bit extra if you like as well. Okay. <laughs> Once you've mixed everything together, you can take a little taste. I'm going to use my fingers. Mm. Oh my God. I'm such a great cook with a little bit of help from Thailand. <laughs> this is amazing. Oh my God. It's ready to be served. We have this beautiful plate with our little carrot rose. So thoughtfully prepared by the, the help we have here at Samujana. And then you take your salad. Pop it on the plate just like that. Taking a little bit of extra beans hiding on the bottom. And there we go. Lunch is served. 
So thank you everybody for watching. Hope you learned something. I definitely did today. Hope it's delicious. Leave me a comment below. Let me know how it tasted for you. And don't forget to subscribe so you can check out the next video next week. Thank you, Kapunka. Thank you. Yay. Hi, puppy. Hi, little puppy. Whose puppy are you? Whose puppy are you? Are you so happy?